I'm Eileen Lum, and sitting here with Nola Nahulu in this beautiful, beautiful Nuuana Valley. It's God's country. And you asked me how um, Professor um, Vine, Richard Vine, our beloved, beloved um, voice teacher at the University Music Department, he had marvelous um, uh, uh, students like Shigeru Toki, Emma Viri. You, you ever heard of Virginia Rodriguez? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, I wonder what happened to her. Um, she, um, Jimmy Shigeta, that oh, movie star. So yeah. Alvin Ng. Well, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So that, that's, that's um, our beloved teacher. Um, I spent about two years at the university music department, and uh, I knew I wanted to do church music. And um, so after two years, I transferred to Wheaton College in Illinois. Wonderful conservatory and wonderful uh, Christian education. So, and I also changed my major to Christian education because I knew I was, wanted to work with children in the church, specifically with music. I graduated from there. And um, when I came back, one of my first jobs was the children's ministry of music and Christian education. So right exactly what I wanted to do. And I had, uh, at that time, um, Kalihi was very residential. So uh, I started um, working with an adult choir. And then I expanded it and expanded it. And I had a graded choir system. And eventually I, had, I was working with 250 singers, which included seven ensembles, and starting with preschool and um, going up to um, Makule's. And I loved it. I loved it. So evidently, uh, Richard Vine, see, I hadn't been in touch with him when I left for college. He must have heard about the, my great choir system. And so uh, one day I got a call and he says, Eileen, I've been waiting for you to come home from the mainland. Come and see me. So I went to see him at the university and he said, the um, Honolulu Symphony, it's a Hawaii symphony now, is, uh, has started uh, the opera um, program. And um, they're doing, the next opera they're doing is Boheme and we don't have a children's, a trained children's choir. And he says, would, would you please uh, uh, help me get it started? And I immediately say yes, because I, I tend to say yes to anything that people need help with, even if I don't know what to do. I didn't know beans about opera. I did, the only opera song was probably Toreador from Carmen. <laughs> That's all. But, and you know, I tend to like challenges. So I said, okay, if I can lead 250 people in the church with seven ensembles, I should be able to learn opera. And so that's, that's how it started. You, you asked me, Nola, why? What was inspiring us? It was just a need for a children's opera course. So anyway, so we, uh, we fortunately, Everything was paved so easily because we met at the university, we started our music, and um, uh, uh, um, Professor um, Vine was there to give me all the support I needed, and I never had to deal with the university. He was the one who dealt with it. So uh, hundreds of kids showed up. I was really surprised. I was wondering, what kid is going to come for opera? They don't even know what it is. I want the kids to have a commitment. They had to have a, a good sense of pitch. They had to have a pretty strong voice. Um, they needed to um, be able to get along with other kids. Um, being a social worker, I thought it was, I was teaching them more than music. I felt I was teaching them discipline because it requires a lot of discipline to stand in front of a, a, a large concert crowd and not show off. And you know what? I cannot remember uh, ever um, uh, having to uh, reject too many people, too many kids. So I think they must have been committed. 